New at 530, it's a celebration today for a Miami-Dade police officer who had a months-long battle with COVID. The officer leaving the hospital after more than six months and a double lung transplant. CBS4's Trish Christakis was there for his emotional exit. Well, a miracle is what family and friends are calling it today as a Miami-Dade police officer is finally going home after surviving a double lung and kidney transplant after complications from COVID. Overjoyed, I overcame this and I'm going home. That's Woo! After nearly three months in a coma, Officer Frank Signetto is going home, something he's been waiting for for quite some time. A lot of mental challenges. You know, you're stuck in the hospital 24-7. When I woke up from my coma, I couldn't move. In August last year, his condition got worse and the ventilator support was not enough to keep him breathing. Doctors knew there was only one option. Lung transplantation is considered the only possibility to get the patient alive out of the hospital. Without a transplant, then the patient is essentially bound to life support machines. Signero was a canine officer and former Marine. Dr. Machuca said he felt confident taking this on, knowing how mentally strong he was. Every single lung transplant center in the country would decline a patient like this. Family and friends at the ceremony called this a miracle. Signero credits his drive to survive, his family, and his brotherhood of police officers. I said it's, it's a mental battle also, it's not just physical. I always told you, like, you're built different. Yeah. Like, from the moment, like, he woke up, his ambition for life, his family, his his mom, as we keep saying, like they inspired us. They gave us light when we didn't have it. As for what's next, he says once he's healthy, he wants to get back to the force, his true passion. <laughs> well, as you can see, he is very excited to finally be home. Afterwards, I was speaking with his cousin, and he said this is truly a miracle for the family. There was one point his eyes didn't open up for four weeks, and the family had two separate conversations about potentially letting him go. So today is a beautiful day for the family. He's sleeping in his own bed tonight. They just sent me a photo of them all raising a glass and having a toast to his homecoming. In Miami, Trish Kraseka, CBS4 News. Wow. To think he didn't open his eyes for weeks and to see him now smiling and finally back home is so special. You can tell he's a fighter and he's Absolutely. inspiring so many mm -hmm. other people.